So hi guys, it is that CGI guy. Today we're gonna make a really lazy, lazy video. So what you want to do is you want to import an image texture for basic learners. You can just hit Shift A, then image texture, and bring that into there. I'm gonna actually delete that one. Then I'm just gonna plug it into here. But oh no, it's black. That's because we haven't made a new one. So for this one, um, you can just hit um, freckle boy, and then we just want to hit 10, 2048 by 2048. What that's going to do is that's going to be the resolution. It's going to come in a square like this one. Then we want to hit a base color, something that looks like skin, so something around there. So now we have a nice skin texture, but it looks terrible. How do we put some variation in it? Well, first, what you need to do is you need to put in the image that you just made. So you want to go over to Freckle Boy right in the image editor right here, which will come as a default in the shading tab. And then you just want to go to Image, Save As, save it anywhere i'm saving it in documents and there you go dudes so what you want to do as soon as you get in here make sure that all the textures are non-existent and then change this to complete white so now you can do that but we don't really want to do that we want to add freckles no duh so we want to go add a new texture change this texture to cloud. Now you can change it to a lot of things. Stuchi, I don't know if I pronounce that right. Voronoi, I have no idea what wood. Okay, that's wood. Um, we might even want to try Voronoi, but for now we're just going to try clouds. Um, but actually, Voronoi might actually look better. Okay, so we want to change this color up here, or the color... Uh, right here to the color of our skin and you'll know why in a minute so now it's the color of our skin so now when we paint it's just going to show these really weird black dots on top of our thing so we don't actually want that at all what we want is we want to go to the texture tab we want to hit color ramp and then we want to come down here, bring our white all the way down like that to where these look like dots. And you want to hit a plus in the middle. We want to change this one to sort of a lighter brown, maybe around there, maybe a lighter red. And then this one we're going to change also to a brown. But this one might be a lighter brown. So now when we paint, we're going to have these round dots all over. So that's how you make freckles. And if you want them on both sides, you go here. You want to go down to symmetry and just hit X. Um, so that's basically that. And so for this, how I get this random rotating movement is by going into view plan and hitting random. Now you're not going to have random at first. Without random, just looks like a straight line. It looks really, really bad. So you want to hit random, and that's going to give that random rotation. So that is basically that. And then you can put it on the nose, on the ridge. You can put it on the cheeks, starting to look like Lucas from Jesse. Um, and now to save your image, you basically just go up here, just hit save. And so that way, we can not only just see it in Eevee, but we can see it in Cycles as well. And they're pretty light. That's because I kind of have some harsh light right now. But uh, that's, that's, how you make, that's how you make freckles. See you later. Yeah.